Hello Divination and welcome. We have a brand new four part mini series for you. In this mini series, we'll be building a product review site using Extra. The goal of this mini series is to provide you with creative ideas which you can use in your own project. So, without wasting a lot of time, let's dive into our mini series. So, before we get started, again, like in the previous um, episode, we are going to need some CSS code. So, if you'd like to follow along step by step, and achieve the same results in this tutorial, I will link to the post in the show notes below. Okay, so what you wanna do is to add products onto your website. So let me show you how to do the first product and then you can go ahead and do the rest. So I'm gonna come over here to post and then click on add new. So in the first episode, if you recall, we saved a page template, a post page template. So that's what we're gonna be using throughout this. So here I'm gonna paste my product and it's a laptop computer. I'm gonna click on use the Divi Builder and then I'm gonna come over here and click on load from library. Now the reason why we're coming here to the library is because this is where we saved our post template. So I'm gonna click on load from library and here it is product post template. So I'm going to click on load. So what this does is it, it loads the default template. So what we need to do is to go in and make all the uh, major adjustments. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scroll all the way down and set our featured image. So I'm going to click here to set my featured image. It's a laptop computer. So I'm going to select my image right here. Click on set featured image. So now that we have our image here, there's a few things that we need to do. I'm going to come over here and click on featured post. And I'm also going to hide the author's box so i'm going to click on this and then and then over here this item is is under the uh, electronics category so i'm going to select electronics click on publish now we're not done yet because we still need to do a few changes right here at the bottom so you can see here where we have the summary you still need to go ahead and add your summary and then the breakdowns so let's do a quick review and i can show you where you need to make those adjustments so i'm going to click on view post Right, so this is our full post. You can see here we have our description, we have our pros and cons. Now, because this is a template, you would need to go back in here and make these pros and cons match the actual product it is because this is a template. And then same thing here on the specifications, you need to do the same thing. And then here, this is the information that we've just added, which is fantastic. And then on the bottom here, we have the related posts. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is to create the category layout for our home page. So let's come over here to our dashboard. We're going to come here to Extra. And then come here to Category Builder. Right, so we can see here we have this home page. So let's go ahead and click on Edit. So this is the page that's going to represent our landing page, our main home page. So let's start off by clearing the layout. So I'm going to click on Clear Layout so we can just start from scratch. So let's start off by inserting our column. So I'm going to click this plus button here. And for our column, let's start off with a two-thirds or one-third column. So let's click on that. So what we need to add here is our first module. So I'm going to click this plus button. And here we need a featured post slider. So I'm going to click here for the featured post slider. Right, so let's start off with the categories. So let's select all categories. Uh, post limits. I mean, I'll just leave it at six, but you can set this to whatever you want. And um, in here, you also have to make sure that you have all your posts set on your website for this to work properly. And then over here, you can um, select only the featured posts, but you need to make sure that as you set up your post, you need to set them as featured. But again, you know, you can either set this to yes or no. So let's scroll all the way down here. Now show author, let's set that to no. Show date, again, this needs to, set be, to be set to no. Okay, now let's go into the design tab. So the nav color, I'm gonna click this um, and uh, add my color and this needs to be set to white. Our nav background color needs to be set to black. So I'm gonna click over here and add my black. And then for our caption background color, now this is gonna be, this is gonna have transparency on it. So I'm just gonna paste it in here like that. Okay, so let's scroll down here and uh, select the font title. So this needs to be set to 24 and the color needs to be set to black. And then over here on the meta font, this needs to be set to 16. And again, the color needs to be black. So let's come over here to our meta text color and set it to black. And then finally here for our custom margin, let's put zero to the bottom. So finally, we need to add our CSS code. So I'm going to come over here to the Advanced tab. 
click on main element and paste my CSS code. Now, once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on save and exit. Right, so let's come over here to our next uh, module. So we're gonna click this plus button here to add our text module. And then we need to add us. We need to add some text now. This text we're going to add is going to have some um, CSS. So let's use the text tab right here. Okay. So I'm going to paste my code in here. Now it's time to go to the design tab and make more more adjustments. So I'm going to click the design tab. So let's start off with the text font size. So here it's set to 14 by default. Let's change that to 40. But for the tablet and desktop, this needs to be slightly smaller because this is going to be way too much. So I'm going to click this icon right here. And for the tablet, I'm going to set it to 24. And the same for the smartphone. Okay, so I'm going to come back here to my desktop. So let's go to the header font size. So over here on the header font size, this needs to be set to 42. Click this icon again to set our sizes for the tablet and the smartphone. So I'm going to click the tablet. So here we need to set this to 38. And for the smartphone, we need to set it to 28. And then let's go all the way down here and go to the custom padding. So custom padding top, let's set that to 40 and then 15 for the rest of the sides. And then with that set, let's click on save and exit. Now it's time to go into the row settings. So let's come over here and to access all the settings, so I'm going to click this hamburger icon. And first of all, we need to set our background color. So I'm going to click this plus button here and set it to white. We're going to come over here to design. Equalize column height. Let's set that to yes. Make this row full width. Let's select yes. And then finally, we need to add the CSS code in the advanced tab. So I'm going to click the advanced tab. And our CSS needs to go into the main element. So I'm just going to paste my CSS code in here. And as I mentioned before, if you'd like to use the CSS code throughout your design, if you're following this step by step, I will link it to the I will link the post to the post in the show notes below. So now that we have all this set, let's click on save and exit. So next, let's add another standard section. So I'm going to click this plus button here to add our standard section. It's going to be a single row. And in that row, we're going to add a text module. Okay, so in I've got some code to add in here for the text module. So I'm just going to add it here. And this is for the product reviews. And this is a title. So let's go ahead and save and exit. Okay, so now let's go into the design tab. So here for our text orientation, let's select center because this looks much better if it's centered. And then for our font size, let's set it to 48. And then again for the uh, tablet, let's set it to 42. And for the smartphone, let's set it to 36. Let's click on save and exit. Okay, so next let's add a speciality section. Now this is a section that we haven't used here for quite a while. So it's gonna be quite interesting to use this. So okay, let's go ahead and click on speciality section. The one that we need is this one. So I'm gonna select it. Okay, so it's time to add some columns. So let's start by adding some columns here. So I'm gonna click this plus button and add two halves. So over here, I'm gonna click this plus button to add our post module. So I'm gonna click on posts. And we're going to choose the clothing category. So what's going to happen now is that post module is only going to have the clothing, the stuff from the clothing category. Okay. And then over here, show author, we're going to say no. Show date, we're going to say no. And then we're going to go ahead and save, save and exit. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is duplicate this three times. Drag this over here to the right. And then I'm going to drag this one more time. So what we want to do now is to make sure that these this post module ha is collecting information from different categories. So the first one here was clothing. I'm going to come over here and change this one to, let's say, electronics. Save and exit. Come over here again into the settings. Change this one to health and fitness. Save and exit. And then finally, we're going to come over here and set this to kitchen. And then save and exit. So what's happening here is each post module is now pulling stuff from different categories. So this is going to make it all look different. So next, what if you want to add a video review? So in order for us to do that, we need to come over here to add new row. 
So we're going to choose this single row. So for now, we're going to click on update. And then we need to create a, a video category. So let's come over here to post and then let's create a category. Now the category we're going to add here is called video. So this is where all our video reviews is going to be. So I'm going to also add my slug as video. And then we're going to change the color to this dark gray. So the hexadecimal color is right here. Click on add to category. So now we have a new video category. So next we need to add the video or create a post which, which um, references this category. So we're going to come over here to this plus button, click on post. So now we need to add a new post. So let's just call this post video. So to add our video, I'm just going to come over here and go to our YouTube channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one of my latest videos here where I'm being interviewed. So I'm going to select the URL right there. So what you want to do now is to scroll down here and make sure that the format here is set to video because that's very important because this allows us now to add the video URL. So I'm going to paste my URL in here. And then I'm going to select my category. Now remember, the category that we've just created is called video. So I'm going to select it right here. And then I'm going to click on publish. So now that we have this set, in fact, there's one more thing that you could do. You could also come here to your review box and add some reviews if you wanted. But for now, we're just going to leave it as it is. So let's go back to our category builder. So we're going to come over here to category builder. Choose our homepage. Click on edit. Right. So now let's add our post module. So I'm going to click this insert. I'm going to click on posts and then I'm going to select my video category. Okay. So with that selected, I'm going to come over here and make sure that um, our author box is uh, show author is set to no and also the date is set to no and then click on save and exit. Right. So what are we going to do here on the right? We need to add some more post uh, modules. So I'm going to click this plus button here. Click on post. Now, what we're going to do here is we are going to do something different. So we're going to select all categories so that it shows all the categories. But when we sort this out, we are going to sort this by the highest rated. So all the highest rated items are going to be showing on this post module. So this high, highest rated comes from the customers that actually rate each product on the website. So again, we're going to come over here and disable the author and also the date. So I'm going to click on save and exit. Click on insert modules. And then I'm going to select my posts. And again, this is going to be all. But over here, the sort method is going to be most popular. And again, this is going to be most popular based on how people are using the website. So again, I'm going to come over here and disable the show author and also the date and then click on save and exit. So what also helps here is to go in and name these because right now they're quite confusing. So I'll just show you how to do that and then you can go ahead and edit these. So I'm going to come over here to my module settings. So we know that one is the highest rated as we can see here as the sort method. So we're going to come all the way right here to the bottom and for the admin label, we're going to set this to highest rated. Click on save and exit. So what this helps now is every time I come over here to my uh, category layout, I can see exactly where things are because right now it's confusing to see, you know, what is in what is in each of these modules. OK, so now that you know how to do that, you're going to go ahead and rename these. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to duplicate, duplicate this section and then I'm going to drag it below this speciality section. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here into my text module settings and I'm going to paste a different title. Now, this title here is going to be our latest reviews. So I'm going to click on save and exit. Right. So what we're going to do next is we are going to add another module, but this time it's going to be a blog blog feed. Right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add all products that, that are coming from these different categories. So this blog feed will be showcasing all the products from these four categories. OK, so we're going to go ahead and click on save and exit. And then finally, under the blog feed, we're going to add the post carousel. So I'm going to click on insert modules, click on post carousel. We're going to click on all. And then so what we need to do with this is only to show featured posts only. So I'm going to select here. So what you want to do to make sure that all your featured posts are shown in this post carousel is to make sure that as you create your post, you select the featured option. Click on save and exit. 
So what we need to do at this stage is to take a preview of what we've put together. So as you can see here, this is a category layout, so we can't really do a preview. So let me show you how to add this category layout as our homepage. So I'm going to come over here, click on reading. Okay, so over here we can see that our page is set to latest posts. So in order for us to show the category layout that we've just designed as the main page, we need to come over here to an extra layout theme. So I'm going to check this button here and then we're going to select home page. So you can see here we have uh, different categories. So the one that we've been working on is the home page. So now once I save the changes, this now is going to be the layout that shows on our main page. And let me just show you what that looks like. So I'm going to open a new tab and we're going to go to our home page. So this is what our home page looks like. It has all the categories. So what we're going to do next now is to add our CSS code, which is going to bring the final settings all in place. So to do that, let's come over here to Extra and click on Theme Customizer. So what we need to do here is to come over here to Additional CSS. And this is where we need to add our CSS code. So make sure that you create some space before you start entering your CSS code. Okay, so this is where I'm pasting my CSS code. Okay, so let's go ahead and save and publish. So let's finally take a look at our page and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is our final page. So as I scroll down, you can see that now we have all our categories. So we have our product reviews from different categories. We have the clothing, electronics, health and fitness, and also kitchen. And then on the right here, we have all our top rated products. And over here, we have all our popular products. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.